Good evening. Mr. Wilson, members of the Board of the National Endowment for Democracy, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. It is an honor to receive the Endowment Democracy Service Medal tonight, and I would like to express my sincere gratitude for this meaningful award. This recognition is not a just personal honor, but a testament to the collective resilience of the Nicaraguan people and the unwavering commitment of the Catholic Church of Nicaragua to uphold freedom, peace, and justice. Through our history, the people of Nicaragua have demonstrated exceptional bravery in the face of immense challenges. For several years, we have been facing the oppressive rule of a brutal dictatorship and witnessing the slow erosion of democratic values, which has led to their complete disappearance. To receive this medal bears witness to the courage of my people who continue to resist and persevere. I am honored to dedicate this to Nicaragua's courageous citizens who are worthy of this prestigious award. I also would like to recognize the admirable commitment of the Catholic Church in Nicaragua, which is currently persecuted by the dictatorship. It has, it has always been a safe refuge for the poor and oppressed, and remains a beacon of hope in society. Today, I offer this medal as a tribute to the prophetic spirit of the Catholic Church of my country. I also want to remember the extraordinary witness of my brother, Bishop Rolando Jose Alvarez, who has been unjustly imprisoned for proclaiming the truth, defending justice, and walking with the poorest. His pastoral commitment is a sign of the enduring strain of the prophetic mission of our church. Once again tonight, I urgently demand his immediate and unconditional release. <laughs> the challenges we face in Nicaragua are far from over. We continue to confront a repressive regime that seeks to stifle our aspiration for a better future. The international community must act swiftly and decisively to increase effective diplomatic pressure on the Nicaraguan regime. Dear friends, I urge you to support Nicaragua's brave people and sustain the cause of democracy and human rights in my country. We are a poor, a small country. Please keep in your heart, in your mind, my country. <laughs> to conclude, once again, I would like to express my deepest gratitude to the National Endowment for Democracy for this significant honor you have bestowed upon me. The medal I received tonight reminds me of my commitment as bishop to stand by my people and continue spreading the gospel's light among them. As I fulfill my humble Episcopal ministry, I pray that God may grant me the strength and wisdom to consistently support my people's aspiration for a just and free society. Thank you, and may our effort bring a brighter future for Nicaragua, and for all who yearn for liberty and justice. Thank you very much. <laughs>